y'all, Nick here with Scent Remix. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm doing something a little bit different today. This is actually going to be my very first individual fragrance review. And you might be wondering why am I now just getting around to doing one of these? Well, simply put, when I first started the channel, I made the decision that I wasn't going to do an individual fragrance review just to do it or just to put out another video. I kind of felt like that would be just filler content that would be boring for me to do and boring for you to watch. It's kind of like one of those albums that you probably have in your collection from the 80s, early 90s. And they were really bad about doing that back then. They would slap like a couple of songs on the album and they were, they were basically filler. They weren't very good. They were trying to meet the trap requirement or whatever just to get the album released. And you normally just skipped over those tracks. So I felt like for me, it would be like that. Um, it would just be filler content if I were to review every single fragrance that I came across that I just happened to enjoy. So I made that choice to reserve my fragrance reviews to just those fragrances that met certain criteria. Like number one, it would have to be just an outstanding fragrance. It would have to be one that just blew my socks off. Um, you know, not only in scent and composition, but also in uniqueness, quality, performance. Or number two, it would have to, there would have to be a specific reason for it. Like in other words, it's centered around a funny story or some other significant happening that I really wanted to share with you guys um, because it's always interested me how smell is so closely linked to memory and um, just special events in your life. I'm sure you found that to be the case yourself. So the scent that I wanted to talk about today comes from the house of Serge Laton and it is Santal Majuscule. This fragrance just really checks all of the boxes in regards to the criteria that I just previously mentioned. I really feel like that this is an outstanding, beautiful fragrance. I came across this because, well, I had started exploring the house of Serge Luton, and I was looking for a nice sandalwood fragrance that you know, was fairly unique and that also had really good longevity. And from what I had read about this, from what I had heard, I really felt like it would be a good choice. And so I did blind buy it. And it's just another example of a blind buy that really, really paid off because this has very quickly become one of the favorites in my collection. So Santal Majuscule is considered to be an Oriental Woody and it was introduced back in 2012. Supposedly it only has three notes, which I find kind of hard to believe, but if that is truly the case, then it's okay because sometimes simple is good, especially when the result is a masterpiece like this one is. So sandalwood, rose, cacao, those are the notes that are listed on Fragrantica. And in my mind, when I was considering purchasing this one, I was kind of imagining, you know, if this was going to be a strong, prominent, creamy sandalwood supported by a nice, fresh rose and a gourmandy cacao, I mean, you can't get any better than that. I mean, to me, anyway. And so I was, I was sold, you know, because that's what I had pictured in my head as to the way that it would smell. And you know how that goes sometimes when you blind buy especially, just you know what you have pictured in your mind is sometimes not what you get. That was not the case here. This one actually fulfilled what I had imagined and then saw. So I thought I would just uh, quickly spray tester strip here just to kind of recreate the first impressions that I received from this to kind of pass on to you guys. Um, now keep in mind, I have had this for a few weeks and I've had the chance to wear it a few times. Um, it seems to be one of those fragrances that for me, when I'm feeling a certain way, I just naturally gravitate um, to this particular one. 
And that says a lot because when I first get a fragrance, you know, I might wear it one day and then I immediately move on to something else. Not saying that I necessarily forget about it, but I, I do kind of have like a rotation type thing going. So for me to go back again to this one um, so quickly, yeah, it's, it says quite a bit. So the initial impressions that I got from this it's just, <laughs> other than the fact of wow, um, the three notes that are listed, the sandalwood, the rose, the cacao, they come across like so distinctly. It's almost like, you know, they're really, really fighting to be top dog in this, but it's, it's like they, they give up. Um, they just like, okay, let's, it would be a whole lot better if we just work together. Let's let's not make this a competition. Let's just uh, work together to make a beautiful fragrance, and that's that's what happens here. It um, they come together. It's just so well blended. This is the type of scent that I want to wear when I am doing absolutely nothing. I'm just relaxing around the house. My wife and I are taking a walk. In fact, one of the evenings that I wore this, my wife and I did take a walk. I sprayed it on like maybe an hour before we, we took off and it just made the walk so enjoyable. The way that it was floating around in the air, it was just, it was so nice. So it kind of puts me in the mind of just a, a truly enjoyable scent that you don't wear so much for other people. You just, you kind of wear for yourself. Although I think a lot of other people will enjoy this. So the third day that I wore it, I wore it to work and I actually got a couple of compliments from it, but I was also able to see really how it performed. I got about seven, eight hours from it, which I consider to be really, really good for this type of fragrance. Um, I have really come across some sandalwood fragrances in the past that have just been truly lackluster in that department. So I think performance on this was, was really nice. And as far as projection, um, I think you're gonna, I, I felt like I got, you know, a couple of hours off of it where I was able to kind of smell it around me in the air. I've always, found it hard to determine, you know, exactly how, I don't know how people do that. You know, they say, oh, well, it projects about an arm's length. I mean, are you walking around asking people, you know, okay, stand an arm's length away from me, do you smell it? I mean, how are people determining that? I've never understood that at all. If anybody can clue me in on how that works, please let me know, because it just, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You know, all I can go by is, you know, how I feel as far as my scent bubble, you know, how well it's, it's doing around my person. Uh, that's kind of what I go by. If you are a sandalwood lover, I think this is one that you should definitely give a try. It's not very expensive. It's, you know... If you get it, get it on the online discounters, um, I mean, it's it's definitely not a cheapie. You're not going to be able to pick it up for 30, 40 bucks. Um, it's going to be more around the, the $70 range. But I mean, that's not bad for what you are getting here. This is very high quality. It's very enjoyable fragrance. Great performance. I don't think that you can ask for anything more, to be honest with you. So yeah, if you haven't tried this one, give it a shot. And um, if you have it in your collection already, um, of course, I would love to know what you feel about it. Um, so leave some comments below. And I hope you have enjoyed this first review video. Um, I've enjoyed it myself. I'm glad that I was able to finally get inspired to do one finally. And um, actually, I've got one coming up um, that I definitely want to do. 
the fragrance is arriving today and there's actually a pretty funny story that surrounds it so i wanted to share it with you guys so that will probably be coming up next um thanks for stopping by um thanks for taking the time to subscribe and to support the channel and until the next time see you later Thank you.